Hello and welcome to a little unknown indie game known as V Rising. I got sent uh, code by this by the uh, devs on Key Mailer. Thank you very much for providing me with access to this game. I have been quite interested in checking it out. We probably won't check out the full thing because as of this time that I'm recording it, I actually do have shingles and it is quite painful to do anything major. So, yeah. I did originally make a character already, but uh, I'm, I'm going to just start it from the beginning anyway. So you guys can see what the actual start is a little bit like. And we'll, we'll see how things go. You see, we've got some Founders Packs, and we also got uh, Dracula's Relic Packs. So they do have some DLC stuff, and from what I can gather, this is a sort of isometric uh, Valheim-type style game, which, you know what? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Option-wise, you just got basic stuff here. Obviously, we can skip the intro, cinematic, which I might do. Allow friends to join me in three fingers. Stream mode. I don't know what stream mode is. I haven't streamed it, but I'm intrigued. Anyway, I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to press play. I'm going to do a private game, which is nice. It gives you an online play here. Private game, obviously, is for those like me who prefer to play solo. And then, of course, you've got your host, your dedicated server, which is you can rent a dedicated server where you can have like a lot of people, which clearly you can have a lot of people. You can set it to PV, PVP. Uh, this is obviously private, so no one should come in. But I'm going to put a password in, which is just going to be like blah, blah, blah. blah. Doesn't matter. Ain't no one going to be joining anyway, unless they happen to somehow guess it. it. It's set up as private, so they shouldn't be able to. We will probably start as a waifu, because we always like to make ourselves uh, the ladies in these sort of games. Because, as I always say, if you're going to be pl uh, playing a game for a long ass time, you might as well be looking at something nice while you're playing it. That's why I also play Makote on Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, here we are at the character creator, which of course for you to start off as a beautiful, beautiful bald lady. Because you can change the body type between being a man or a lady. Oh my god, that neck is a thick. Jesus Christ. Let's just hit some randomization. Apparently called this Mabel. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's not quite like, super extensive with the character creator, but it is good enough what it is, and you know what? <laughs> You can have some pretty crazy designs, in all honesty. Now, I'm not going to be committing to this character because I already do have one. But for the sake of this recording, we will have one. So, uh, might as well just go for one like around here. Like, here we go. We have a uh, very typical anime waifu type style here. Let's, let's go in with this. I mean, I don't see why not. We'll stick with Mabel. Seems pretty cute to me. Press space to wake up. Ooh. Is my fear correct that this is also procedurally generated as you go through? Because this is a different start area layout to when I played this originally. As you can probably assume as well. Yes, indeed. You have the wonderful freaking same thing. It's like shift to jump. I forgot about that. I should have said I had the tutorials on. Left mouse click is to melee, which is a very, a very, a very handy. I like it when a game does that sort of thing. I, I don't mind this. I'm sure you can play as a controller. Probably have the same sort of problems. So, slash solutions. Not really problems. Uh, shift it doesn't really do much. Spacebar makes you dodge forward like so. R is to do some sort of, like, it's a shadow ball, but I like to call it a blood ball. But, yeah. You have Blood Right, which is uh, a blocking skill. Mm, it's like, oh, counter. I will never be able to pull that off. And I'll always forget it exists, because that's the way I am. Hello there, Mr. Skeleton. How are you doing? I'm here to claw your face out. See, this is how much you can zoom in. So you can look at your beautiful avatar and have a look down the top as well if you want to. Don't do that. Although, who am I? I'm not, I'm not the boss of you. Nice little reactive combat, and then we'll just have a... Oh, I was going to say we'll have a look at the crafting now. We don't have enough bones. We will do soon. Now, one thing which I kind of was annoyed about when I did this originally was that it has the claim up here in the top left corner. I ignored this when I originally went through and had no idea. <laughs> because I didn't look up there. Now, here's a good thing. You can actually 
exit this and it'll still continue crafting while you can fight. So you're not stuck. Oh yes, another good thing about that dodge. It will leave a little shadow clone behind so the enemies will, uh, you know, keep look at you. A good thing this does do is it does keep track even if you do not actually, you know, for example, continue doing a little quest at the top. It will continue keeping track of it. So it'd be like, because when I did that, it was like, oh, well, you've already used Bloodborne against so many enemies. That, that, that's pretty cool. Good on you. You've already used these skills. Okay, we're going to, you know, make sure we tick those as well. And if you haven't noticed already, since it is kind of daytime, we are like, I guess you could say, oh, no, no, sorry, that is actually bad. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, hey, we're finding the sun. We're not finding the sun. We're not finding the sun. <laughs> I guess I was in the shade more than I thought. Uh, and we're definitely not a sparkly vampire. I'm sorry to disappoint everybody. See what I mean? I have this claim up here. Didn't even realize. Didn't even realize it was there. And the great thing is I will automatically equip the stuff too, which I'm kind of pleased with. Um... I got a little bit down here too. Comes in against my blood. Like, doing the right. Thank you. I remember when I went through this on my own, like the other day, and I actually just kept collecting rats and was thinking, oh, maybe they're like a food source. Mm, maybe they're not. They actually are a food source. Cool. I wasn't 100% sure. But either way, let us continue. That is not where we continue. So yeah, it's like a typical little graveyard. You wake up, it's like, oh my god, there's all these skeletons. What's going on? I'm just a vampire. I'm a very sexy blue-haired vampire who doesn't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> That's Yuna Miku who's betrayed me. She betrayed her people. And I didn't look at my jepters. Whoopsie diddly daisies. Let me just go fight another enemy with my uh, my blood bolt. Because I might as well. It says shadow bolt. I'm going to end up calling it blood bolt. Thank you. Also, there's no, almost no reason not to, in a way, farm these guys. Because you get all these bones. And if I go to the crafting, I can like... <gasps> I can make a chest. I can make that. I can't make the others yet. Because I don't have animal hides. I wonder where I get animal hides, because everything here is like skeletons. <gasps> I wonder. Ooh, Farbane Woods. I wonder if that has creatures. And it's quite nice. You get to choose where you start on the left or you start on the right. So West Farbane Woods or East Farbane Woods. Let's go to East Farbane Woods. All right. Here we are. I'm going to mess it up massively. Remember to hit shift, kids. And my theory, or uh, you know, my, my guess is actually being proven. This is cheaply generated. I'm sorry for those who already know this. But hey, if you're coming here to watch this to see my opinions, then hey, you'll know. I'm an idiot. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash Wobzy uh, for the, all those idiotic moments and, uh, and stuff like that too. God, I need to get back to uh, <laughs> making more of these videos as well. Oh my god, I do, I do, I do. Hey, new place. We're in the woods. Everything has tried to get us. Some lovely plant fiber. Thank you, Auto Gathering. I love you. We got some doggos and a new feed mechanic. Ooh, that's just a because These guys have blood. Three percent blood from the uh, from this guy. Like, mmm. Animal hides, though. We need more animal hides. I saw another wolfie over here somewhere. Wolfie! Ah, damn, he dodged! If I bought, I just get the essence. Thank you for the tainted heart. All right, let's craft the rest of what we need. We'll get some vermin salve as well, because that gives us, I think, some, uh, some stuff. I wish to drink your blood. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate the fact that, you know, you let me drink your blood. Nice, easy uh, indication when to do it. Hold F to teleport. So we do actually do have teleportation, fast travel in this world. 
If we hit the wonderful button known as M, we see ourselves this wonderful map. Farbane Woods is huge. Bloody huge. I feel like this is where I ideally want you to make your castle and other things too. Um, from what I can gather, they're probably going to end up... Uh, well, they might add more lands to this. And it doesn't look very big when you zoomed out. But when you consider like that entire starter area was literally here. And that dome was pretty big. Yeah, we have... It's it's quite big, this map. It is quite big in, indeed. Uh, that's probably going to be like a snowy region. Uh, this is a farmland. So that's going to be like where humans are. Where we could feast upon them, most likely. Let me just claim that. Get myself some bone axes. Can I make it? Yes, I can. And if it's what... If they still are what they are, then uh, yes, please. Because... Oh boy, I do like dual wooding axes, because Zug Zug, I, uh, if, you if you've never been to my channel on Twitch.tv, once again, uh, I, I, I do like my orcs, I really do. And I will happily have myself some axes, because uh, axes mean business, and uh, I do mean business. <gasps> There's a doggo. Hello there, doggo. Oh. I'm sorry that I missed the entire shot there. Now, this weapon is still, this is still classified as a good weapon, but it also has bonuses against trees. And uh, once we've done this one, we will get the bone mace. As it says up there in the top left, axes. As practical chopping down trees as chopping off heads. Getting some lumber and plant fiber from this. Can, can I actually chop this down or is this not choppable? Hey, a tree appeared from nowhere. Fantastic. I like when a stump just turns into a tree as you chop it down. That's, that's, you know what? Thank you very much, game. And for those who are wondering, from what I've seen and can gather, I do believe that there is fishing within this game because what game doesn't have fishing these days? Every game needs to have it. Fishing is love. Fishing is life. Time to make a mace because we're fighting a load of undead and uh, if, if there's one thing I do know is hitting the undead with maces is a lot more effective than hitting them with like bladed weapons. These things don't bleed. Oh, now that's a big boy. So you got to smash some rocks into pieces, which once we smash some rocks into pieces, it'll unlock the castle heart and borders. Ooh, now that sounds magical. As this is the sort of stuff I want to at least show you guys, is like the, the starter area and how quickly you can get into how things begin. It does seem pretty quick in terms of letting you get started, which is nice. Because I didn't... Some games take ages to get into the whole crafting side of stuff, and it just gets really boring. Um... Now, I'm not going to say Don't Starve is a bad game. God, no, it isn't. But one thing I don't like about that sometimes is you can wonder for ages to find a good spot to actually kind of build base. And by the time you do, it's too late and you're already going to be screwed over and killed. I, did, I mean, I'm not, I'm not always someone who is a massive base builder anyway, but uh, I do enjoy like, I, I'm a big uh, big fan of Auction Not Included, but I also hate that game at the same time because you could just get screwed over immediately. I summon the heart of my domain from this location. I shall rebuild my castle and rise to my former glory. Now, here's me just thinking, oh, man, I need to think of a good place for this. I don't know where, but there is a nice plain over here by the looks of it. Of a lovely scenic pond in the front too, so uh, you know what? We can probably build it. That is a big, big, big stag. This seems like a nice place to start building our new home. <gasps> the heart of your domain. As long as it contains blood essence, it will power your castle and keep it from decaying. You can spend your territory with borders and floors originating from the heart. If the heart is destroyed, your entire castle crumbles. But I say, approximately 50 minutes beautiful space near the location, fair area. Wait, I'm being attacked by so. Ah, no! Who's this? Is this are these skeletons? Or are they people? We'll soon find out. <gasps> They're people. Mmm, it's a rogue. Thank you for your blood. Thank you very much now. I am here to ruin your day. Go away, rogues. 
Thank you. How much does this heal you for? Use blood men to exchange blood for health. Oh! Okay. Oh, so it's, it's like Valheim in a way where it heals you over time as well. Hello, what's this? Attack level is too low. Okay, cool. No, I, sh I should be doing the tutorial. I'm getting distracted again. This is this is a terrible thing. I'm sure I'll be able to build another one at some eventually down the line elsewhere. Like, this is a fair area. It's not going to be like, hey, you can do this anywhere if you want. Nice. Castle is decaying. Feed the heart. I wish to feed the heart. Uh, boop. And by using a blood press, uh, what well, is consuming my stuff right now? So, claim. What we're gonna do. Um, to protect myself and my belongings, I raised walls along my territory, and I pl uh, prepared a place to rest. Protected by placing palisades. Place a wooden coffin. Place a wooden stash. So I need to. Yeah. Okay. So, coffin, which costs how much lumber? A hundred? That's a lot of lumber for a bed. But it is instantaneous, so that is that. Damn, that's impressive. <gasps> but it will only allow me to build where I've actually put... Oh, I need more blood essence. I do. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to kill some things. I hunt. So, this is where the gameplay, gameplay loot comes in, clearly. Eh. That's a level 16 boost. That's probably not a good idea for me to attack it. That seems like a very bad idea. Hmm. Blood pool. What if I... Hang on. Can I, can I get blood essence with this? Or is that so someone else can feed me... Feed from me? I guess it's so someone else can feed from me? Hmm. Eh, whatever. But that's pretty cool with the blood type. Like, um, obviously, if you consume it from, like, a human, like, rogue, you, you get, like, bonuses for certain stuff. That's awesome. I love that. I had a whack. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I must kill. I need more blood. Oh, hello there, Wolvie Chans. I have no reasons to do so. I just wish to do this. Ha ha ha. I must feed from all of the creatures of the Phallus. What even does this give me? Ah, movement speed. Noise. Yes. Yes. I kind of feel sorry for these poor guys, but yeah. And it's nice that each one has different um, qualities as well, which is very lovely. I remember when I was on my other character, the one I made originally, and it was, I saw one which had, I think it's like 84% blood. I was like, okay, that seems pretty cool. Okay, I got 24 blood essence now. We've got lots and lots and lots of blood essence. What we do need as well is a lot of lumber. The sun is rising. <gasps> this seems like not a good thing. This is like a very bad thing. Am I protected in the shade here in the woods? Or am I... Uh, <laughs> you watch that where I built my base is going to be like completely exposed to the sun. <laughs> oh my god, I think it is. It is... No! My castle! Thankfully we have the shade. It's okay. Eh. I know, here's my, here's my thing. Um, thank God we do actually have some protection. Oh, I need stone. Well, this, this is the predicament which I kind of expected to have happen at some point. That, that's okay though. You know what? Um, I, I expect, to expect to have problems. Um, it's nice to know that I'm going to have problems, I guess. Yeah, remember guys, if you're going to build your own freaking base, don't do it where it's in the open like this. Do it where it's shady. Because <laughs> otherwise you get to screw yourself over. 
<laughs> oh man. So this is why it wants me to build these. Am I already out of wood? How much wood do I need for this? Oh, but I don't have a duh. Oh, it's outside my territory. Oi, 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 oi. I do have a nerf. It just won't let me do it because certain things are in the way by the looks of it. And I, I don't think I actually have enough. Anyway, guys, this is me rising. Um, as you can see, that like this is only just like the sort of start area a bit and stuff like that. I really need to sort of crunch into this and have a look at it more down the line as well. I don't think I'll be continuing with this character, but like I'll, I'll probably be playing a little bit in my own time as well. It definitely seems like a more just like a me type thing. I don't think I'll be streaming it as such, but uh, you know what? Yeah, you've got a good taste. Like I know it's not been a lot that I've shown, but you can see that uh, it's got procedure generation. It's got multiplayer. It's got dedicated servers. Um, it's obviously got crafting. Um, you can it's auto crafting as well, which is pretty good. I know some people complain, but I personally like that. Where it's like I'd rather it just do that. It's got a nice vampire theme. Um, you can obviously be in the sun, and I do want to see what happens. What, uh, what does happen to you if you die? So I'm gonna stay in the sun for a bit. It's not instant death as well, but oh my god, it does burn you quite quite work, but quite a lot. Holy moly! I am down. So there's the down system too. So if you play multiplayer, people have to revive you. Um, where will I respawn? Time of death, Friday, 10th of June, 20... Oh, there you go. That, that's, it. that's the actual time. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly. Ah, okay. So, I will revive here, and all my stuff that I dropped is over there as well. Now, luckily, I'm also in the sun. Yeah. Container. Um, ah, I'm on fire. Back to bed. <laughs> So we wait until it's uh, daytime at uh, nighttime, I guess. I wonder how long it takes for it to get to uh, that time. Okay, container. Take all. Thank you. At least now we know what happens. Um, so, uh, hold to sleep. Uh, does it take long for that to be a thing? Yeah, in fact, I have to just wake up again. I, I love that animation. It's so good. It's so good. Like I rise from the depths. I see all oh, yes. I right, put some more blood in that, so that's gonna be uh Yeah, it's it's fortified for quite a bit. I think that's actually two hours in game time rather than uh, sorry, real life time rather than anything else. So that's the only other issue is does this go by real time or not or in game? Because uh I don't wanna have to wait here till literally another eight hours until night comes. <laughs> But yes, as I said, I will be playing this like my own time. You've seen it. It's got some nice combat. It's got a nice crafting system. Um, I think it's, it's a good reason why a lot of people are enjoying this game as well on Steam. Uh, it's got the dedicated servers. You can instantly join friends as well. Um, yeah, go out and explore and enjoy. Um, I might do a follow-up video down the line when I'm like much further in with certain stuff too. But we'll see. We'll see. But thank you very much for watching anyway if you have been. Uh, I will see you guys on my Twitch channel. Uh, hopefully, my shingles will clear up at some point eventually. Uh, I'm currently not really working. I haven't really streamed the last few days either. Uh, but uh, obviously, this being a YouTube video, it won't really matter anyway. Um, but if this... By the time this has gone live, I will be also hopefully being on uh, some Ace Attorney tonight with Riley Roars. That's going to be great. But I'll see you then. Anyway, ta-ta for now. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm out of here.